mercy. The prophet said, Those who are merciful will be given mercy by the most merciful. Be merciful to those on the earth, and the one above the heavens will have mercy on you. Sunan At-Tirmidhi, 1924, Sunan Abu Dawud, 4941. His mercy embraced countless aspects, including the following. Mercy towards children. A Bedouin once came to the Prophet and said, Do you kiss your children? We do not kiss them. The Prophet said, Can I put mercy in your heart after Allah has removed it? Sahih al-Bukhari, 5652, Sahih Muslim, 2317. On another occasion, a man saw the Prophet kissing his grandson, Al-Hassan ibn Ali, and said to him, I have ten children, but I have never kissed any of them. The Prophet looked disapprovingly at him and said, He who does not show mercy to others will not be shown mercy. Sahih Muslim, 2318. Once he carried his granddaughter Zainab while standing in prayer, and he put her down gently when he prostrated. Sahih al-Bukhari, 494, and Sahih Muslim, 543. If he heard a baby crying while the mother was praying behind him, he would shorten the prayer so that the mother could attend to the baby's needs. Abu Qatada narrated that the Prophet said, When I begin the prayer, I always intend to make it long. However, if I hear a baby crying, I shorten it, as I do not wish to cause his mother any distress. Sahih al-Bukhari, 675, Sahih Muslim, 470. Mercy Towards Women The Prophet urged his companions to look after girls and show kindness to them. He used to say, Whoever is in charge of any of these girls and treats them well, they will be a shield for him against the fire. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5649, Sahih Muslim, 2629. He even stressed that women must be given their rights and be well cared for, and commanded Muslims to make this issue their concern and to advise one another to do so. Take good care of women. Sahih al-Bukhari, 4890. He was a shining example of kindness to family members. He once sat beside his camel and put his knee for Safiya, one of his wives, to put her foot on in order to get onto it. Sahih al-Bukhari, 2120. Whenever his daughter Fatima came to visit him, he would get up to welcome her, take her by the hand, kiss her, and make her sit where he was sitting. Sunan Abu Dawud, 5217. Mercy to the weak members of society. The Prophet commanded people to sponsor orphans and look after them. A person who takes care of an orphan and I will be like this in paradise, he once said, joining his forefinger and middle finger together by way of illustration. Sahih al-Bukhari, 4998. He considered a person who looks after a widow or a poor person just like a warrior who fights for Allah's cause or like one who performs prayers all night without slackness and fasts continuously and never breaks his fast. Sahih al-Bukhari 5661, Sahih Muslim 2982. He regarded showing kindness to the weak members of society and giving them their rights, a strong reason to gain Allah's victory over the enemy, as well as gaining more means of subsistence. Seek help among your weak ones, for you are given provision and help only because of the weak amongst you. Sunan Abu Dawud, 2594 Mercy Towards Animals The Prophet's comprehensive sense of mercy extends even to animals and insects. He urged people to show kindness to animals and warned them against harming them or laying loads on them which are more than they can bear. He said, Allah has prescribed proficiency in all things. Thus, if you kill, kill well, and if you slaughter, Slaughter well. Let each one of you sharpen his blade, and let him spare suffering to the animal he slaughters. Sahih Muslim 1955. Once he noticed a mound of ants which had been burned up. Who has set fire to this? he asked. One of his companions replied, We have. No one should punish with fire except the Lord of the fire, he disapprovingly said. Sunan Abu Dawud 2675. 